everybody, it's Colette, and I'm here with July Favorites. Um, alright, this is in no particular order, but I'll just start off with what I have in front of me. Um, it's my two favorite mascaras of the month of July. And the first one is the Max Bold Curves. This is from Rimmel. And I like this because it's got that spoon-shaped brush. This is in perfect competition to the falsies but I actually like this formulation better and the brush actually fits my eye a lot better. So I'm loving this. But the one I've been using since I got it um, two weeks ago, every single day has been Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. And this is worth the $22. This is what the brush looks like. It's super black, it stays on all day long. The only issue I have is I have long lashes already. So when I curl, when I curl them and I ma put mascara on them, they tend to touch like up here and I get residue all over my eye. <laughs> So that's the only thing I don't like about that, but everything else I love. And then, my favorite eyeliner for the month has been Max um, Eye Coal and Smolder. And it is just that black eyeliner. This is an amazing, super soft eye coal. Um, exceptionally black. Really, really easy to blend to like create a smoky, smudge, like rock, rocker look. So. It's really, really great. I use this for the waterline pretty much every day to kind of give my eye a little bit more shape, and I'm loving it. The primer I never thought I would say I love is the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. And this it's just the same like doe foot applicator. I'll just do a small swatch for you. It's so beautiful. I mean, it gives you a like a little bit of coverage, but it completely mats out any oil in your eye and makes those actually makes the um, frostier colors pop a little bit more. So I really am loving this. Okay. And then I have for the palette I've been using mostly is the Urban Decay Ammo Palette. This is great. I absolutely adore this. Um, this is what it looks like. It's got those 10 shades. And the ones I've been really using a lot have been Sin, which is this color here. And Mildew, which is that deep green up there. And that's pretty much it. I do use Last Call a bit. I like the way it looks on my eyes. But I'm loving this. It's got every color you could possibly need. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. So, love it. And then, the only other eyeshadow I have is Melon Pigment from MAC. I love this piglet. Piglet? Pigment. So I'll just show you what it looks like. I mean, you guys have seen this before for sure, but I'll just pop it over that primer potion. Oops, I just got it all over my clothes. Oh well. But that is Melon Pigment. I've been wearing this a lot this month, just over the lid, a little into the crease, just to create a nice glow on my eye. I absolutely love it. Okay. So, I have two blush favorites. They are NARS Enchanted, which is a cream blush. This is just a really light shade. I'll show it to you. It's gorgeous. It's a light peachy shade. It doesn't go on like this once you blend it out. It's so pretty. So I like to put this on. And then, I'm loving... Warm Soul Mineralized Blush from MAC. So I'll just show that to you on top of Enchanted. So that is my favorite cheek combination of the moment. I'm absolutely loving those two. So pretty. Ah, I love it. Alright. And then I am loving... Oh, here's another eyeshadow. This is from NYX. This, I usually don't like NYX single shadows, 
but this is ES149, my favorite color. I found this at Ulta the other day. This is a great highlight color. I've been using it every single day. It's a bit glittery, but I absolutely love it. All right, so for powder, I've kind of put down my Mineralized Skin Finish Natural because it's almost out and I kind of want to savor it. <laughs> So I went and I picked up this Lancome one. It looks like this, and it's the dual finish, and this is Matte Porcelain Devoir. And it comes with this little um, puff here that I use sometimes, and it's just a really nice matte soft powder um, to set the foundation. I'm absolutely loving it. It's easy, it's compact, you can carry it around in your purse. And it's really cute. I just think the packaging is really nice. So, for brows, I'm loving my Benefit Brows Agogo. I'm sure you guys have seen what this looks like. You have the two brow powders, the brow wax, the little brush, the liner, the highlight color, the eye bright, and the tweezers. Great little kit. Um, I usually just use this, this color here. That's pretty much my eyebrow color. So... I love this. Use that every day. For lip products, I have two lipsticks. I talked about this in my last favorites video. This is Bombshell from MAC. This is my favorite everyday pink lipstick. I love it. I'm so glad it's a permanent color because it's amazing. And then one that I found a new love with. It's I love this color. This is Plink, but I don't love it by itself. These two products I'm about to show you, they play off each other. I'm loving my Chanel Glossomer in number 83. I don't love it by itself. It's just a hot magenta color. But over top of Plink, they make a beautiful, almost similar to bombshell color, which is probably why I like it so much. Absolutely beautiful. So I would check both of these out, except I think Plink might be discontinued. I'm loving, again, my bubblegum lip scrub from Lush. Looks like that. Smells amazing. Does the job. And I'm loving my plum lip butter from Kors. Just looks like that. It's beautiful. These are both really nice things to kind of treat the lips. Um, this is Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. This is amazing. My skin has never felt so moisturized, and this is so inexpensive. It's like $6, and it smells really fresh. It smells like cucumbers, so if you don't like cucumbers, I wouldn't put it on or try it, but it's amazing. I absolutely love this. And then the, lastly is, uh, the last thing is a scent, and it is the Victoria's Secret Pink with a Splash Sweet and Flirty. This smells amazing. Oh, so amazing. This is just the travel size that I bought the other day. I love it. It's a great scent. So I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites. Um, please leave a video response telling me what your favorites are. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.